The story in our gospel reading today is a story of mercy and forgiveness. A woman who is known to be a public sinner dares to approach Jesus during supper hosted by Simon, a Pharisee. With dramatic and sincere sorrow, she acts out her contrition by washing Jesus' feet with tears, with her tears, and wiping them with her hair. After telling the host Simon a short parable about forgiveness, Jesus tells the woman that her many sins are forgiven because of her faith and love. Sa panahon natin ngayon, mga kapatid, para bagang ang pagpapatawad ay hindi na bahagi ng buhay natin. That is the reason why we hear news of wars everywhere and people are fighting and killing each other. Everyone is blaming other parties and neglecting the virtue of forgiveness. It is important for us to re-inculcate the value of forgiveness in our lives. Think and ponder first. Do we really know what forgiveness is? Ano ba ang kahalagahan ng pagpapatawad sa buhay natin? How to inculcate the value of forgiveness in our lives? Sabi nga nila, mayroon daw tatlong klase yung pagpapatawad. Na ang tatlong ito ay magkakaugnay. Una, yung forgiveness of God. Pagpapatawad ng Panginoon. Assures us of our worth and strengthens us. Pangalawa, yung forgiveness of others. The forgiveness that we extend to others and receive from them. Intimates and enemies. At ang pangatlo yung self-forgiveness. That which enable us to release our own guilt and lack of perfection. Kaya magtatanong tayo, bakit ba tayo magpapatawad? Ano ba ang naidadalang dulot nito sa buhay natin? So, let me mention a few. First, forgiveness, my dear brothers and sisters, sets us free. Iyong kung ikaw ay nagpapatawad, ay palalayain ka kung ano man yung kinikimkim mo sa buhay mo. Forgiveness is not a sense of false humility that makes us better than somebody else. So it is an attitude that sets us free so that we are not continually re-victimized by our wounds. Palayain mo ang sarili mo. Magpatawad ka. Pangalawa, don't get you trapped. There is a penalty for not granting forgiveness. Ano ba yung penalty na yon? The penalty we experience is the hurts or the hurt that remains trapped within us, which rots a portion of our body, mind, and soul daily. In order to heal, to heal ourselves of the wounds inflicted upon us, we must be willing to forgive those who hurt us, totally and unconditionally. It does not mean that we must go and tell them that they are forgiven. Palayain mo. Huwag kang makulong sa mga kinikimkim mong sama ng loob. Third, kapag ikaw ay nagpapatawad, nagiging maganda ang iyong mundong ginagalawan. Makes your world beautiful. Forgiveness not only makes us whole once again, it energizes us and makes our world more beautiful than ever. Forgiveness is not about letting him or her off the hook. It is about taking the knife out of your soul. When it comes to forgiveness, it is far better to have a small amount of the real thing than massive quantities of the fake stuff. Pang-apat, mayroong sinabi si MacArthur, ito ang sabi niya, lessons from forgiveness. Sabi niya, many people are afraid to, for, to forgive because they feel they must remember the wrong or they will not learn from it. The opposite is true. Through forgiveness, the wrong is released from its emotional stranglehold. 
on us so that we can learn from it. Through the power and intelligence of the heart, the release of forgiveness brings expanded intelligence to work with the situation more effectively. Panglima, kapag ikaw ay nagpapatawad, there is always an effect on your body. Forgiving is good for the body as well as for the soul. Relieving past hurts over and over again is bad for your health. Simply remembering an incident that made a person angry has provoked to be stressful for the heart. In other words, negative feelings that cause stress have also been linked with high blood pressure, coronary artery disease, and increased susceptibility to other illness. And fifth, and six, forgiveness is not, is not to teach. Sincere forgiveness is not colored with expectations that the other person apologizes or changes. Don't worry whether or not they finally understand you, love them and release them. Life feeds back through to people in its own way and time, just like it does for you and me. So, my dear brothers and sisters, let us learn from this word of Jesus about forgiveness. Sabi ng Panginoon, If you forgive men their sins, your heavenly Father will also forgive you yours. But if you do not forgive men their sins, neither will your Father forgive your sins. God bless us.